against the Texans, and it is. We just heard it. It's a key game, even though it's so early in the season. These two teams disappointed with their starts, no question about it. The Colts at 2-2, two and two, the Texans at 1-3. and three. Hello, friends. You know, you look at these teams, partner. You got all kinds of issues, physical issues. Obviously, Houston's got their own with the wide receivers. Their second and third best receivers are out for this game tonight. Andrew Lux missing in action this evening, and Hasselbeck's not 100%. So what are you expecting at quarterback for Indianapolis? What, what will that look like tonight? Look, you can't have a bigger issue than a quarterback situation with the Indianapolis Colts. A 40-year-old quarterback back there, he's the backup. Not only that, as we heard in the pregame show, he has been sick all week and not even, not even been able to practice. So what do they need? Just like Bill Cowher said in the pregame show, they need to help Matt Hasselbeck out, play defense, and they got to find a way to run the football here tonight. Well, let's take a look at the starting lineups presented by the Lincoln Motor Company. Here's the guys that have to help out. Up front, this whole line kind of went through a shift a couple of weeks ago before the Tennessee game. This marks the return of Andre Johnson to Houston after a decorated time here with the Texans. Gore could be busy tonight, and Hasselbeck starting for the second straight game. Just four days ago, he looked good, Phil. Well, he did look good. 17 years of experience in the NFL, not practicing all week. He's going to have to draw upon that. What's his one skill? He can recognize defenses very quickly and get rid of the football. Don't let J.J. Watt get back there and hit you and ruin your night. Of course, J.J. Watt can ruin a quarterback's night faster than probably anybody in the league, right? No question. And he can wreck a game. There is Watt with Wilford, the former Patriot, coming over as a free agent. And perhaps this will be the night where Jadeveon Clowney shines in front of the nation. That secondary has had some issues, particularly in the middle of that secondary. We'll see what they can do tonight against Hasselback. Now, the Houston offensive front. They've got some veterans here, like Brown, on that left side. He's made a couple of Pro Bowls. Hopkins is their breakaway threat, but again, they're thin at wideout with three rookies seeing action tonight. Mallet needs some help tonight from Foster, who just returned on Sunday for the first time. What do you see in Ryan Mallet? Look, there's no question when you watch him throw, it's undeniable his arm strength. He can make throws that very few quarterbacks can make in this league. But here's what he needs to do. You don't always have to show off the arm. Go for the easy throw. Take the short one every once in a while. That would really help this offense tonight. And now a couple of Stanford rookies on that defensive front for the Colts, Anderson and Perry. Quell Jackson in on so many tackles, Irving, the former Bronco, and the secondary welcomes the return of Greg Tolbert for the first time this season. Tell me what you think Hasselback will do here tonight. Well, look, I think this offense, we might see a different offense because he is under the weather. I think they will change formations. I think they really will try to stick to the running game longer than they usually do if Andrew Luck was the starting quarterback. And there again, Andre Johnson ready for his return to Houston. Now as a member of the Colts, Indianapolis, and Houston's coming up on Thursday Night Football.